All right. We've got the recorder going for the online folks. We're on page 125, topic 3.2. If the online folks can't see me, it doesn't matter. They can see what's going on and hear my voice. That's good enough. The screen is what's important. And uh, did you notice on the screen, I have some notes. There's some more stuff to add to your notes. Can everyone read what's in that little note box there? Okay, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to erase what I have here and write it over to show you where it comes from. Okay, we have four possibilities. P can be true and Q can be true. Or P can be true and Q can be false. Or Q can, P can be false and Q can be true. Or P can be false and Q can be false. You follow what I just said? Those are the four possibilities when you have two given statements. Today is Monday. Okay. P, today is Monday, and today is Friday. What did I just say? Two false statements, right? Is today Monday? Oh, so I said true and false. Is that right? So today is Monday and today is Friday. I just made a true statement and a false statement. I made this one right here. Change to red. Should we talk about it? I made this statement right there. Agreed? So with and, true and false is false. Because when is and true? Today is Monday, and it's cold outside. True and true, that's when and is true, when both statements are true. Today is Monday, and it's hot outside. Well, maybe somewhere, but not here. So, I made a true statement and a false statement. True and false, that's false. Today is Sunday, and it's... It's warm on campus. I made two false statements. That's also false. So if it's true and true, then and is true. If it's true and false, and is false. If it's false and true, and is false. If it's false and false, if both P and Q are false, and is false. Do you understand that? The only time AND is true is when both P and Q are true. Does everybody follow that reasoning? Now let's go to OR. True or true would be true. Agreed? True or false would also be true. Today is Monday, or today is Friday. Now, I didn't say and today is Friday, because it couldn't be both. Today is Monday, or today is Friday. Today is Monday, and since I said or, then that makes it a true statement. If I make a false statement and then a true statement, today is Sunday, or today is Monday. Well, today is Monday, so the second part's true, so that's true also. But what if I said today is Sunday and tomorrow is Friday? Those are two false statements, so that's when or is always true except when both are false, and is always false, it's only true when both are true where or is true if both are true or if either one is true. You got that information down? So somewhere put that in your notes. 
And you don't have to have it written out in words like I just described it. If you just have it in symbolic form like this, probably if you just write this much here and this much here, that'll help you keep it straight. Now we're ready to do some problems. Oh, no, we're not. Page 122. Page 122. I just thought it was healthy to draw a little picture of this. Okay, let me come over here and just put, let me put it out here. I'll put P and Q. Uh, why is that so small? I don't know. See if I can get a bigger one. Let's do P and Q. There we go. P and Q. What are the possibilities? True, true. True, false. False, true. False, false. And that's generally the order you all, maybe you should write that down too, just so you have that standard order for how you do things. Because you're going to be using this over and over again. So go ahead and write that one down someplace too. Now, watch this. Oh, let's go to green. If Q, if this is Q, then what do you think not Q is? If Q is true, what is not Q? False. If Q is, where here, if Q is true, not Q is false. If Q is false, not Q is true. Everybody see what's going on? If Q is true, not Q is false. If Q is false, not Q is true. Does that make sense to everybody? Today is Sunday. That's false. Today is not Sunday. That's true. You, you follow what happens? When you negate it, you whatever it was, when you negate it, you change it to the opposite value. So now watch what I have going here. I have this column and this column. And P, P is just the same. True, true, false, false. Because it's, it's just I copied it down directly from here. True, true, false, false. Now, and. Change to red. And. When is and true? When both are true. So watch. Here's, um, do I have another color to use here? I guess I'll use blue. Here's true and false. So what does that make and? False. You follow that? Here's true and true, so that makes and true. Here's false and false, so that makes and false. Here's false and true. So that makes and false. Everybody see what I'm doing? Look at your notes with that little thing I just gave you to write down there. Now, if this statement, I'll change back to green. If this whole statement has this truth value, then what would happen if I negate that statement? False would change to true, true would change to false, false would change to true, and false would change to true. Everybody follow that? So the truth value for this entire statement is right here. Are we going to have fun today? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's go to problem two. In problems one through four, you always have to read the directions for these things. In problems one through four, let P be today is Friday. So P says today is Friday. And Q says today is Monday. So I'm writing down what they're, and they want me to, uh, for problem two, 
write in words the conjunction. What's conjunction mean? What's the symbol for conjunction? And? But they don't want the symbol. They want it in words. So I write and for conjunction. And then what goes in front? Today is Friday and today is Monday. And that's all they want me to do is take the given information and write it in words following the directions that they give there. Number four. Oh, go to number six. For 5.7, for five to seven, let G be, he's a gentleman. And let S be, he's a, he's a scholar. And for number six, write the following and, and write them in words. I guess they want them all written in words. So I'll put words out here. They want everything in words. And what do they want in words for number six? The negation of G. Negate G. Okay, what does G say? Negate G would just be written like this, wouldn't it? Negate G. Everybody follow that? Now, how would you how would you say that in words? What's the statement for G? He's a gentleman. So how would I negate that? He is not a gentleman. You, you follow what we're supposed to do here? Okay, let's go to number eight. In problems eight through ten. Use the statement G and S of problems five through seven. So we're using the same information. And write each statement in symbolic form. Now they're telling me to do it in symbolic form. Now what did they say in problem eight? He is not a gentleman or Now is it saying he is not a gentleman, or he is a scholar, or he is not a gentleman, or he is not a scholar. Okay, in symbolic form, he is not. See that, he is not a gentleman or a scholar. You follow how you have to look at the English and say, what's the English construction here? He is not a gentleman or a scholar. Now, if sometimes it's a little confusing, it's not a logic confusion, it's not a math confusion, it's confusion with the English language. And that can frustrate you once in a while because you said, exactly what are they saying in English? And can you see? What they're saying here in this English sentence is they're saying that he is not a gentleman or a scholar. So now how do I put that in symbolic form? I put a gentleman or a scholar in parentheses and put it is not the case that he's a gentleman or a scholar. You, you follow what I'm doing? I'm negating. I'm taking He's a gentleman or a scholar, and I'm negating that by putting that little tilde out in front. Now, because of what someone asked before class started, to say it's not the case that he's a gentleman or a scholar, that's equivalent to saying what? He's not a gentleman, and he's not a scholar. From what we've done before. But they're not asking you to give equivalences they're just asking you to translate from English to symbolic language. So that's why this one is the key answer. Even though this is an equivalent statement. 
So this is an accurate statement, and it's an equivalent statement. It's just not the key to answer. Problem number 10. He is neither a gentleman nor a scholar. So now I'm saying he is not a gentleman. That's not G. He is not a scholar. That's not S. Now, is it, I only have two choices. What are the two choices? And or or. When, in English, when you say he's neither this nor that, then that's the same as saying he's not this and he's not that. If that's confusing to you, then write that in your notes. Because now I'm just helping you with English. Something that your English teachers should have taken care of years ago. And maybe didn't because they <laughs> haven't studied logic. <laughs> oh boy. Send your English teachers an email and say, my math teacher says, and they'll go, yeah, well, let me tell you what I think about math teachers. <laughs> problems 12 to 16. <clears throat> In problems 12 to 16, let P be Mida is cooperative. And let Q be Desi is uncooperative. Write each statement in symbolic form. And so now I'm going to put, I'm going to take these words right here for number 12. What does number 12 say? Mida and Desi. Is it Desi? Yeah. Mida and Desi are both cooperative. So, I say, Mida is cooperative, that would be P. Everybody agree? And, and, Desi is cooperative. What did Q say? Desi is what? Cooperative. Does it say Desi is cooperative or uncooperative? In the problem? In the given. Desi is not cooperative. So how would I say Desi is cooperative? I would negate Q. You got that? If Q says Desi is not cooperative, then not Q would say Desi is cooperative. Getting a headache yet? Well, let's keep going. See if we can find one for you somewhere. Number 14. What's number 14 telling us to do? Are we still doing 12 through 16? Yeah, we're supposed to use P and Q like it's given here, so I better keep it where we can see it. So 14 says, it is not the case, so I underline here, it is not the case that Mida and Desi are both uncooperative. So how do I say, okay, and, I put that there. It is not the case, it's going to be a tilde out here in front of a parenthesis. You follow me? And then inside the parenthesis, I'm going to have and, now, how do I say Mida is uncooperative if P said Mida is cooperative? Not P. And how do I say Desi is not co is uncooperative? Just put Q. Everybody follow what's going on? Good. So the key answer is it's not the case that not P and Q, but again, that's equivalent to saying P or not Q, but the key to answer is a direct translation from words to symbolic.
even though this is an equivalent statement right here. Because of how you negate, <coughs> because of how you negate parentheses, remember? Do you have that in your notes from the last topic? <coughs> and do you see how you're just going to keep adding to your notes? <coughs> and then as you're working problems, you're going to look back at your notes to see which notes do I need for which problems, and then look back and use those notes. Because you're not going to, if I, if I gave you enough practice problems to fix all this in your head so you wouldn't need notes, you would not like me very much. So this book doesn't give you enough practice to fix it in your head. It's like you read a Bible verse and you remember it for a few minutes, but if you're going to memorize it, you have to go over and over and over and over. And this is not a class on can you memorize all these math rules. This is a class on can you use these math rules to do problems. So you have to keep putting the rules someplace where you can look at them and keep them handy. <clears throat> okay, what do we have next? For 17 to 21, suppose that P is true. Now they just told us. For 17 to 21, P is true and Q is false. Write each statement in symbolic form. <clears throat> That's the first thing I'm going to do. And <clears throat> find its truth value. That's the second thing I'm going to do. <clears throat> you ready? You got the instructions down? Let's go to number 18. Either P or not Q. P or not Q. Isn't that what they just said? They did it in words, but I'm doing it in symbolic language. P or not Q. Now, is P true or false? <coughs> what they just say? P is true. Q is false. So if Q is false, what's not Q? True. true. So we have an or with a true and a true. So what does that make the or? If they're both true. 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 Because or is true if both are true or if either one is true. You, you follow what's going on? <clears throat> Let's do number 20. What does number 20 say? P or Q, but not both. So here's P or Q, and how do I say but in math? And not both, P and Q. Do you understand how I took those words for number 20 and ended up with this sentence here? Look at number 20. P or Q, that's this first part. P or Q, but, and that's translated and, not P and Q. Okay? Now, go back up with what they told us. Remember what we have circled up here? P is true and Q is false. So that means this is true and this is false. What's uh, true or false? What's the truth value of true or false? True. Thank you. Let's go over to the other side. P is what? P is true. Q is false. What's the truth value of true and false? That's right. False. So now we have these two here. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, we don't. We have... Now we have, if this is false, what's not this? True. Agreed? So now this whole side has a truth value of true. This whole side has a truth value of true. So what does that make and when I have true 
and true. True. Isn't that beautiful? Well, you're not smiling as much at this one as you were some earlier lessons. Let's do something else. I mean, this book just keeps coming at you. 22 through 26. G. Is I go to college. And J. Is I join the army. Suppose. That G is false and J is true. Write each statement in symbolic language. So for 22, it says either I go to college or I join the army. Okay, so what is I go to college? That's G. Everybody follow that? What is I join the army? That's J. Everybody follow that? Or is this little symbol here? So now I've written it in symbolic language. Is that all I'm supposed to do? And find its truth value. So what did it say? G is false. So I have false here. J is true, so I have true here. False or true, what's the truth value of false and true? Or false or true? True. So the truth value for that statement is true. Number 24. It just keeps getting better. I neither go to college nor join the army. So what I just said is not G and not J, right? In symbolic language. Does everyone see where I went from these words to not G and not J? Now, <clears throat> what do I have to do? Okay, what's the truth value of not G? What did it say? Suppose, are we still using that? Yeah? Suppose that G is false. If G is false, then what is not G? True. If J is true, what is not J? False. false. Here's and with a true on one side and a false on the other. What's the truth value of that and statement? False. Everybody see that? Twenty-six. I do not go to college. And I do not join the army. I do not go to college. That's not G. And I do not join the army. That's not J. What's the truth value of not G? If G was false, not G is true. What's the truth value of not J? If J is true, not J is false. What's the truth value of true and false for and? False. You got it? Do you feel powerful? You don't know? I feel a little sick at my stomach. This stuff is disgusting. Well, bring a little bottle of juice or something. Put some flavoring in your water and do something to... Bring a cookie with you or something. When you have to do stuff that's a little offensive mentally, if you smell something, 
break some chocolate and just hold it next to your nose and whiff on it from time to time. It'll, it, something that tastes good or smells good always makes ugly mental stuff go down better. <coughs> Isn't that what Mary Poppins said? <coughs> A little bit of sugar helps the math go down. Oh, she said medicine. Hey, medicine, math, close enough. Works for me. Okay, 27 to 40. <laughs> 27 to 40. It helps to laugh a little bit about too, doesn't it? This stuff is, oh, do we all need to count to three and say our famous little riddle that we started math with years, month, days ago? <laughs> math is stupid. There, got it out of my system. Now I can go ahead and do something. I always said the phrase in high school, math, are fun, like kind of English, <laughs> English are bad, math are fun. That'll work too. Find something, because maybe your mother and father taught you not to say stupid. But my parents didn't, so I'm packing it around. My wife tells me it's not a nice word, Tom. You should quit using it. 27 to 40. Okay. Construct a truth table. Here we go. 28. Here's what 28 says. Okay? There's 28 in the book. Now here's how you construct a truth table. I'm going to take this away. Out in front of 28, you put P and Q. And what are the truth values? True and true. True and false. False and true, false, and false. Everybody follow that? This is how you construct a truth table. Okay, now for P and Q, except it's or, P or Q. So true or true, let's just change the black here. True or true would be what? True. You follow that? True or false would be true. You go, what? Remember, I just gave you some notes. We started class with some notes. Look at that little note I gave you. False or true is true for or. And false or false is false. You got that? From the note that I just gave you. Or if you don't have it there, back on page, what was that, 121? where they give you that information. Now, if this has this truth value, what's going to be the truth value for the negation of that? It's going to change from true to what? False, from true to false, from true to false, and from false to true. And this is what's called the final truth value for this whole statement. And this is how you build a truth table. Okay? So you do all this stuff and then put a big box around your final column. Number 30. <coughs> What's number 30 say? Not P or not Q. So watch this. If P, well, let's change the blue. If P is true, true, false, false, then what would not P be? False, false, true, true. Everybody follow that? If Q is true, false, true, false, what would not Q be? False, true, false, true. Everybody follow? Now, I have false. This is or. Oh, let's change to red. I have false or false. 
What's the truth value of false or false? False, right? I have false or true. What's the truth value of false or true? True. I have true or false. What's the truth value of true or false? True. I have true or true. What's the truth value of true or true? True. So there's my final truth column. False, true, true, true for problem 30. Problem 34. And it, when it comes test time on the test, okay, it'll give you a problem like this on the test, and then it'll have like four or five truth values, like false, true, 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 or true, false, false, false. It'll give you four or five choices, and you pick the right one. And what happens is, after you make your column, you look at the choices, the multiple choices, to see which one matches yours. Number 34. Ah. It's getting better as we go along. This is number 34. <coughs> Now, you see what I have here? Just look at it in pieces. I have P or Q. What's the truth value of P or Q? P or Q, true or true? True, 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 false. Everybody see where that comes from? Now, over here, I have P and Q. What's the truth value for P and Q? True, false, false, false. Everybody see why that's, everybody see where I'm getting my information? From the note that I gave you to start with, you didn't write that down? Look back at page 122 and 123. No, I'm sorry. 120. 120. <coughs> one, 118 and 119. 118 and 119. Pardon me. Look back at page 118 and just open your book up to 118 and flip back and forth. So you can look at those charts and see where I'm getting this information. Now, after we've done this, we've got this part done, but then it says not in front of it. So that means it goes from true, false, false, false to what? False, true, true, true. Everybody see that? Because I've negated that whole big thing. So now I'm looking at this. Now let's change to green since I use green for it. I'm looking at this and this. These are my two columns that I'm looking at to answer this question right here. And it's an AND question. So what has to happen for AND to be true? So if it's true and false, that means it's false. If it's true and true, that means it's true. If it's true and true, that means it's true. If it's false and true, that means it's false. You got it? So there's my final answer. False, true, true, false. You ready for another one? 36. Here again, here's the whole problem. And see what I did to work this one? Now, after you've done a few of them, you don't have to write everything down, but we could write it down. Let's just do it. P is true, true, false, false. See where I'm getting that? From this column right here. Not Q is, if Q is true, false, true, false, not Q is false, true, false, 
true. Then and, now I'll change to red. And would be what? <clears throat> true and false would be false. Agreed for and. True and true would be true. False and false would be false. And false and true would be false. Everybody got it? So now we're finished with this half. This whole thing here has this truth value right here. Now let's go over here and do this one. Okay, <clears throat> here's P. So not P. If P is true, true, false, false, not P is false, false, true, true. Okay? And Q is just the same as Q. So that's true, false, true, false. Now we're doing and. False and true would be what? Maybe I better change colors here. False and true would be false. False and false would be false. True and true would be true. And true and false would be false. Everybody follow that? So now, here's my final column for this side. Now, I compare these two. Let's change it to green. To get this in the middle, <clears throat> I compare these two. And false and false would be what? False. True and false would be false. False and true would be false. And false and false would be false. You follow that? So there's your final answer for the whole problem. Okay? 38. <clears throat> What's 38? 38 is P, Q, and R. So now, instead of just P and Q, we have P, Q, and R. So, so do, do all of you see how to construct this little table here that I have over here? True, true, true. True, true, false. True, false, true. True, false, false. False, true, true. False, true, false. False, false, true. False, false, false. You see the systematic way you go through it? Does everyone see a pattern while I'm doing it? I'm going true and true and true, then true and true and false. Then I go true and false and true, and true and false and false. Then I go false and true and true, then I have false and true and false. So it's like they're paired up. And then I have false and false and true, and false and false and false. And I end up with eight different possibilities if I have three variables. So now I want to find the truth value. This is going to be my final column right here. But before I get there, what's Q and R? Q and R, true and true would be true. True and false would be false. False and true would be false. False and false would be false. True and true would be true. True and false would be false. False and true would be false. And false and false would be false. You see what I'm doing? I'm just going down the Q and R column. So now I have this done. Now I come back here and look at what's P? True, 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 false, 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 false. So I just go true, 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 false, 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 false. Then I look at these two. Whoops, wrong color, hit the wrong one. Then I look at these two. 
to figure out what to put here for or. False, true or true would be what? True or false would be true or false would be true or false would be false or true would be true. False or false would be false. False or false would be false. False or false would be false. And there's the final truth value for the whole statement. Okay? Number 42. Let P be Eva. What's it say? Is a high school graduate. And let Q be Eva is over 16 years old. And A says under which conditions is the statement Eva is neither a high school graduate nor over 16. So not a high school graduate would be not P neither not over 16 would be not Q neither nor would be and. Agreed? That's the symbolic form for this. So I translate from words to symbolic language. If P So what do I do here? If P is true and Q is true, if P is true, okay, if P is true, and Q is true, then not P would be false and not Q would be false. If not P, but they want to know under what conditions is the statement true. They want to know when is this statement true. When is an and statement true? So to be a true statement, this would have to be true and this would have to be true. So what would make this true? When P and Q, okay, what would make not P, Q true? P would have to be when P is false. What would make not Q true? When Q is false. So to say, what's her name again? Eva. Eva is not a high school graduate and Eva is not over 16 years of age. The only way that could be true is if both P and Q are false, if the two givens up here, if P and Q, the two given statements, are false statements. Because the negations would be true and then the only thing that would make and true as if both of those were true. Well, let's try B. Under which conditions is the statement Mida is blonde and six feet tall false? Oh, that's yours. 
B, sorry. Under which condition is the statement in part A false? Okay, it would be false. It's this statement is true if both P and Q are false. So this statement would be false if P and Q are both true or if P or Q is true. Because all the other conditions would make not P and not Q uh, where the only time and is true, so tr and would be false for any other condition. So if both are false, then it's a true statement. If either one of those givens is true, or both of them are true, then it would be a false statement. Because now they want to say, what makes it false? Up here it was what makes it true. Down here it's what makes it false. Let's try C. Under which condition is the statement either Eva is a high school graduate or she's over 16? So that's either P or Q. And when is P or Q true? When it's both true? When either one is true? The only one that doesn't work is if it's both false then it's false, so you can't use that one. So what would satisfy this condition? When P or Q are true, maybe change colors here, when P or, or Q are true, or when both are true. Here's where both are true, and here's where either one is true. D. Under which condition is the statement in part C false? If it's true when P or Q are true or when both are true, then when P and it's false when P and Q not or but and when P and Q are both false. And that's this that's this one right here. When P and Q are both false, then that's a false statement. 44. Whoa. P, Q, and R. Here's my P, Q, and R table. So I come over here in red, and I go, what's Q or R? And I look at Q or R, and come down here and fill in this column by looking at those two. And then I look at the P column, Whoops, I didn't change the color there. Look at the P column and just put down the same thing that's written there. This stuff and this stuff match. And then I say and. When is and true? True and true. Since they're using blue, let's go true and true. True and true. True and true. True and false is false. False and true is false. False and true is false. False and true is false. False and false is false. So now I've done this side. Now I come over here and do this side. And here's P and Q. So I take the first two, P and Q, and fill this column in. Then I go P and R. So now I have to compare these two columns. and fill this in. And then I use those two values to do the or. True and true is true. True and false is true. False and true is true. False and false is false. False and false is false. False and false is false. So now I've got this column and this column that I'm going to compare to answer this question right here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just looking at these two to see. That's not true. I'm looking at these two to see if they match. True, 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 false, 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 false. I'm just showing that these two statements have equivalent truth values. And see that little note? Stop when you get to 45.
Well, I have a, about four tests up here if somebody wants to come and collect their test and fix it, and I'll help you walk through it. Benjamin Jones, are you here? Did you get my email? Okay, here's your paper. Just wanted you to see if you wanted to see it, but I gave you credit for it. I just didn't have a name on it before. Whoa. Whoa. So, those of you who want to correct your test, why don't we sit up here at this front table? And if you have questions about the homework, uh, can you bring them to class on Wednesday? Maybe come a little early or, well, Wednesday I won't be working on tests after class. So, Wednesday I can answer questions after class. So, let's sit down up here and talk through this test. Thank you. So which one are we stumped on? You can just lay your papers right here. Oh, I better turn this recorder off. <laughs> oh, damn. 